This is Twit. I am very excited about uh, a potential, well, most likely uh, a change that we'll see in the final version of iOS 14. Point five, excuse me, I was just coughing, uh, which is going to allow you to use your Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone when you're wearing a mask. So this functionality, uh, you, if you have a phone that does Face ID, you may have been frustrated with the fact that while you're wearing a mask, if you try to unlock your iPhone, it at first would just sort of error out, error out, error out, error out. I think about three times, if I remember correctly. And then it would show you Mm -hmm. the prompt to type in your password. Apple updated that so that when you looked at your phone, if it recognized that you were wearing a mask, then it would automatically just right there prompt you for your password. Now, as a person who is, who covers tech and is therefore kind of, um, just the 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 stand-in for the proxy for all tech frustration when family and friends <clears throat> were bothered by this you know then they usually would complain to me um and so that on its own was kind of like i understand this is a frustration for you and it, it does suck and hopefully there will be some improvements but that goes a step further or farther when your um partner works in a public facing job when they work in a job where they interact with, uh, the public and my partner does. And he, of course, because now for some reason, if you, if you work in a job where you interact with the public, not only are you doing your job, uh, that you, you know, signed up for, but you are also becoming a like person wrangler who has to tell people, uh, please wear your mask and, and, uh, please, you know, don't stay in this part. You need to, uh, stay outside all those things. You become a public health uh, inspector as well, which is ridiculous, but they, they, that becomes part of their job. And so for him, the most frustrating thing was not that he himself couldn't unlock his phone with his uh, face ID. It was that customers when they were unlocking their phones with face ID would take their mask off to do so. And so they, you know, time and time again, were removing their masks and potentially risking uh, everyone else around them by doing so. And so that was something that, you know, I certainly had. Uh, th- there was more empathy there than there was with just like the the base frustration. There was already plenty. Like I had a plenty of understanding for that, but this goes a step farther because that's so much more uh, troublesome. And whenever you have to say, I'm sorry, but you can't use Face ID to unlock your phone. We need you to wear your mask while you're indoors. That's the requirement of our, you know, business. Um, So he, more than anyone I've talked to, was really excited to hear about this change coming uh, to iOS. And it was interesting because he had some questions about it as well that I hadn't considered, Um, including what happens if, I'm wearing my Apple Watch and I'm across the room and someone picks up their picks up my phone wearing a mask. Is it going to unlock the phone? And uh, so I ended up kind of showing him how it worked and what it did. And Rosemary, you are going to show us here on the show uh, how yeah. this works. Okay, so step one, a mask. This is a Uniqlo Aerosm mask for anybody curious, because if I don't say, we will have questions. Yes. So. <laughs> All right, I've got this on. So my face is covered and I'm just gonna switch to showing my iPhone. And now if I swipe up to unlock, it says it's unlocking with the Apple Watch. And uh, it actually does say that it's unlocking, uh, but my video appears to have frozen. Ah, there we go, wonderful. And uh, that's a question that we've got maybe for next week on the show, but it has just unlocked. And uh, that is working extremely well for me. I'm really impressed with it. I've been using it for a couple of days. It just works. You do need to set it up. Um, mm-hmm. And that's something that you'll do in the settings. But I'm hoping by the time I was 14.5 launches that there will be a prompt in there to enable that if your watch is up to date or once your watch updates. Um, yes, I'm, because that's I'm something you just change in the settings. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty certain there will be a prompt, but you will need to be running the latest version of watchOS and uh, the latest version of iOS. That's iOS 14.5 and watchOS, I believe, 7.5 as well. Um 
in order for that to work. And that means that some of the older Apple Watches will not support this feature. Um, but what I found really interesting about this, uh, John Gruber on Daring Fireball wrote a little bit about it, is essentially when you unlock your phone with Face ID, if your Apple Watch is on your wrist, but it's not, but it's uh, locked at that point, it unlocks it. And it was set up so that the phone could say to the watch, hey, you're good to go now. But it was never set up so that it could do it both ways. It was set up as a one-way path. And so they had to re-engineer it so that it could go in both directions. Um, because, of course, it would be a bit of a security flaw if you can unlock your phone with your Apple Watch and your, your you know, but your Apple Watch is locked and things like that. So I can, I see why it took them quite a while. And I know for a lot of people, it seems very obvious. Surely I have an Apple Watch, you know, it can unlock my Mac. Why can't it unlock my iPhone? It, it's, these things are never that simple. Uh, but I'm really exactly. pleased to see that the engineers have got this and it works so well. I'm so impressed and it makes shopping so much easier because I, I use the the app uh, for the grocery store so I can scan the things as I go around um, and add them to my basket. And then I just scan a barcode at the checkout. It transfers the data. I pay with Apple Pay. Everything's already bagged in, in the trolley and I'm gone. Um, wow. And uh, that app does not, for some reason, support. Uh, it, it insists on locking my screen frequently. It's very annoying. So, But if I lock my phone, it doesn't lock the app. Um, so, uh, now I, I have a way better chance of that actually working all the way around the grocery store. So I am very, very pleased that this is here and I'm, I'm sure everybody I know that's got an Apple watch will be pleased. And I think some people that don't have an Apple watch might now go, you know what, actually I can see the use case for this. Uh, and there are so many more uses for the Apple watch than just unlocking your iPhone. Yeah, this exactly. Is great. Um, so with that, the, one of the, a couple of things that I wanted to note, um, when you, do that face ID while you're wearing your mask, the Taptic in engine in the Apple Watch will on your wrist to let you know yeah. that it's happening and give you a notification. And to answer that question that my partner had, um, where he was like, okay, but what if somebody else, you know, picks up your phone? First of all, there's proximity magic involved. So your watch yeah. has to be within a certain distance of the phone when that happens. But also... When you get that notification with the buzz on your wrist, the notification that says your watch is being unlocked has a button underneath it that says lock iPhone. And so yep. if you look over and your phone's sitting there and somebody's picked up your phone messing around and has unlocked it, you hit that lock iPhone button and your phone will lock automatically. And then yep. your your password will be required to enter into the phone at that point. So it, yep. it's got the those security features uh, in place. But that's also why it's in beta right now uh, so that we can continue to see uh, changes that need to be made to make sure that it's secure and uh folks out there who want to get early access to this, it is, it just got rolled out into the public beta. Um, so you can also download and get it and give it a try if you want to. Yeah, yeah, that's watchOS 7.4 and iOS 14.5. And both of those are in public beta right now. But of course, it's a beta, you know, at your own risk or wait a couple of weeks and hopefully Apple will roll that out to everybody.